doing a green juice today because I taught this morning and it just sounds really good. I think I'm going to add some Celtic salt to it too, just for like extra hydration. That sounds weird, but it might be. I don't know. We'll see. Hello, my loves. Um, Kate and I just finished recording an episode for the pod all about control because we're both control girlies <laughs> and need to just like relinquish control. Um, but I wanted to talk about my summer essentials because I've said that I was going to talk about it in vlogs and I was actually going to do it in the last vlog, but then the last vlog got really long. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it at the beginning of this weekly vlog, but I want to talk about clothing items that I like are my essentials for summer. I tried to just be really thoughtful and only pick a few. Um, and like things that are really versatile and comfortable and chic and timeless. And I actually think I did a really good job. So without further ado, this is like what I will be wearing this summer. This is just a portion of the vlog. We're still going to do a vlog because I don't want to just do a video on this. Um, mostly because I love vlogging, but yeah. Um, also like. I want to do this, but it feels like fall in Chicago. So like, it's kind of hard to want to do summer stuff when it literally feels like fall. Um, but okay, I'm going to start. So number one is a full length tank top or like not even full length. Like for me, I like a tank to go to like right here if it's a full length one and then crop to go to like right here. Um, because I still like to be able to wear it with pants, but I just think it's important to have like different lengths, different styles. Right now I'm loving this Eterm tank. Like I'm not kidding you, it's so chic, it's so comfortable, it's so versatile. I want it in every color and I love it. Like I love it. So that is an essential for the summer. Um, if you're looking for something more like price point friendly, also I wanna grab my sparkling water. I literally made a sparkling water to have while we chatted and then I left it over there. But um, Brandy has great tanks. Um, but the Eternal ones I feel like are total investment. So love that. I also love Amo tanks, but honestly like they run a little bit big. And so I have the Amo Ballet tank in an extra small and it's just a little bit big. Whereas the Etern is like nice. It's very form fitting it's like the perfect amount of sexy it's the perfect amount of see-through where like you can wear it without a bra but like it's still like slightly sheer but it's not like rated r so it's good it's really really good then you need a cropped tank as well and i'm loving this one by tna aritzia this is like a light gray color it's really nice and soft and buttery um, and I think this is just called the cropped ribbed tank. Um, and it's great. I have it in white as well. And I really, really love it. So full length tank, cropped tank, strapless top. So this one I is also from Aritzia actually. Um, but I also, I'm trying to think of like other ones that I really love. So this one's nice because it's just like easy. Um, Wolford, I have a black Wolford one. I have a white Kate one that's like more dressy. Um, I have a Donny one that's cream that's really nice. I just love a strapless top, and the reason I want to include this is because I think the scalloping on this is really pretty. I actually think this top in general, like the only reason I bought it was because I thought it actually gave Kate vibes um, and didn't give Aritzia. I don't like that Aritzia sculpt knit fabric that people wear. I think it's really, um, I just think it looks cheap, but I do really like this. So this is just like a, like you can't really tell, but it's like a buttery rib and it's really feminine and pretty. And what I would pair this with is a good pair of linen pants. Damn, I didn't even realize a lot of this is actually from Maritzia. Um, but a good pair of linen pants. I've talked about these so many times, the lodge pant. They're so good, literally obsessed. And, or I would pair it with a white skirt. And this one is a gorgeous piece. I absolutely love it. Um, tag is actually still on, but it's a, 
linen skirt from Co. Um, and it's like a linen wrap skirt, but I think like a white linen skirt is essential for summer. Um, because you can literally like you can dress it down by wearing it with a tank top You can dress it up by wearing it more with like a tube top. Like it's just so cute um, and then Next is like a simple throw-on dress. I think it's usually a neutral color I think for me it's a midi because I just feel so confident in midis and it's tighter this year's is from st. Agni and it's black knit and it's so chic it's just high-necked. You can see just like that. And then it has like backless. Um, so this is a total essential. Um, and the tag is still on it. So I can tell you what it's called actually. Unless cut out knit midi dress. <laughs> Um, I just love it. I think it's so, so cute. Um, and then I thought about this like long and hard because I wanted to include one shoe and I didn't want it to be a sneaker, but I have this thing right now for like really comfortable, minimal flip -flop, or not flip flops, sandals, like the Hermes Georgia ones that are coming out in the U S shortly. So gorge. If you can get your paws on those, get your paws on them. Um, or better yet, if you're going to Europe, just go get them there. Um, right now I'm loving these ones. They're so simple. I've had them forever. Um, and they just have like a little toe strap and then they're just like really dainty and delicate. They're from Vince. Um, I think I've had them since early college. So yeah, but those are my summer essentials. Um, go-to brands for summer stuff um dish actually i think is so good their stuff's 100 percent linen and like it's probably going to be the same quality stuff that you're going to get from like scout goods or like actually probably not scout goods because scout goods made in the u.s but like um donny or doen like same type of stuff um donny and doen are great brands um, St. Agni has great summer stuff. Mateau, I love for their summer stuff. I have a couple skirts by Mateau and a couple um, swimsuits, a couple dresses, and I just think their stuff is so feminine and cute. Um, and then honestly, like get on the real real, stock that. Um, a turn just has great basics. Um, Aritzia for these linen pants and the tank top. I think like this was a one-off find. This is really cute, but I think for the most part, like if you're gonna go for a strapless vibe, go for like, I don't know. I really like mine from Donnie. I should have showed you guys that one, but yeah. Anyways, I'm trying to think of like other good brands for summer stuff. Vince, I just feel like is like really good in general. They just like have great stuff they always have. Um, Honestly, like Brandy has really good basics. Um, I always just like look at like look at fabrics, you guys. Like if it's a hundred percent cotton or a hundred percent linen, like you're probably in a good place with it. Um, obviously, like it's gonna vary, but yeah. Um, but yeah, those are like my summer clothing essentials. I kind of want to do like a part two to this, but these are like like I could mix and match all of this stuff. I could wear these shoes with any of this out these outfits, and I could mix and match it to make so many different outfits. So like if honestly, if I were traveling for a weekend, I would just pack this stuff. So that's a vibe. But anyways, I'm going to start cooking dinner. We're making shrimp and a Caesar salad. And yeah, it's going to be really good. I haven't made shrimp ever. So trying something new. Dinner's in the oven and I'm washing Sarah's day. I've been watching her for years. So it's so like comforting to watch. Okay, I just have to share. I love Sarah's Day's vlogs because I feel like they're so well done. Obviously, like, they're very produced. But, like, she's kind of just at that point, I feel like, in her life. But I I just, I don't know. I feel like I have such, like, a soft spot for her because I feel like she's a completely different person than, not in, like, a, not a completely different person, but I feel like she's just grown so much since I started watching her and, like, I don't know, I just like, I'm watching her in the kitchen and I just like love watching her in the kitchen. And 
I don't know. I guess I hope you guys feel that way about watching my vlogs. Like, you, like, I hope that my vlogs make you guys feel the way that Sarah's vlogs make me feel, which is just like a sense of like inspiration and comfort. I don't know. Sarah inspires me because I feel like she's just like, she's created a really beautiful life for her family and for herself and she just like loves to cook and she's such a homemaker but she's also like such a badass and like shows that like you can do it both you know um but yeah i don't know i just wanted to share because i'm just watching her vlog and like she's making apple crisp right now and i'm like damn i should make some apple crisp like <laughs> i'm definitely gonna use her recipe but i i don't know i just like love watching it, it makes me happy I had the most insane experience. This was so beautiful. I'm doing my morning things. I did my breath work. And I just felt I am listening to um, Hertz to um, ground, just like root chakra Hertz music. And this is so crazy. I love this. I literally fucking love the universe. I'm doing my breath work i'm holding my breath and i just like picture a ball of essence and just like shining it through my body it like comes down slowly into my body anyways and then i kept my eyes closed and i tr grabbed my tarot cards and i drew my tarot deck tarot, tarot card and i drew this card but i kept my eyes closed and i reached for my book and i said i think i can just find the page with my eyes closed i just like literally like went like this through my tarot, opened the book page, opened my eyes and the book and the card were on the same exact page without me even opening my eyes. It was a four of swords, stillness, mental power. Although threatening swords loom above, the lamb sits in stillness without fear. The four of swords says it's time to look inward and find mental power to cope with the pressures. It's important to rest, seek meditation or find literature that focus on ways to quiet the mind. Take this time to recoup, re recuperate and move inward before those swords strike. And I feel like this really relates to my life because I feel like I'm in the calm before the storm and the storm is a good storm. Like I'm really excited for a lot that is on the horizon, but I'm just in a state of like, things are a little bit slower in my life right now. And I found myself yesterday like getting so in my head about it, whereas like, the beauty lies in the stillness and like that's what I've been saying and so I think right now I just need to like fully embrace it and read and meditate and relax and yeah I love that that's so cool hello my loves just got home Kate and I had ourselves a morning it was so nice um, we grabbed coffee and then La Cologne, the one that we go to is right by um, Blue Mercury and they're doing their sale right now. So we picked up samples of things because I just, so Blue Mercury is doing their sale and I love the Vintner's Daughter. What'd she give me? Um, I love the Vintner's Daughter products as you guys know however thinner sauters and included in the sale which i don't really care that much but like i don't know it makes me more inclined anyways um but i want to get the vintner's daughter essence because i use the serum right now and i love it and i want to get the essence anyways i wanted to try the is clinical active serum because she just had really great things to say about it um, and I've heard from like so many people that it's fabulous. So if you've tried it, you should let me know. Um, she did say if you have sensitive skin, it might be a little aggressive. So we'll see. And then we went to the farmer's market and we also went to Whole Foods. Um, and here's what I got from the farmer's market. I got some arugula, um, which looked really good. And I just feel like arugula from the farmer's market is like completely different. It just hits stiff. Um, I got a zucchini at Whole Foods. I got these baby onions that I'm going to make at some point this week. I'm going to roast them like a slow roast. I think they'd be really good with like a steak. Um, 
I got portobello's because Blake, we made, or I made us like portobello's chicken thigh, like a marinated chicken thigh and roasted salt baked potatoes and something else last week and Blake requested the exact same meal. He was like, I loved that, can we make it again? So I'm gonna make it, I got these chicken thighs. I get the Pine Manor Farms um, chicken thighs from Whole Foods and I'm gonna start the marinade now. I'm gonna do, it's that acid leak, um, it's like a barbecue marinade, it's really good. Um, and it's really clean. I'm not usually like a barbecue chicken type of girl, but it's really, really nice. Um, I got, um, pineapple because it's my obsession. I love pineapple. Um, and then what else did we get? Oh, I got some cilantro to have on hand and I got broccoli because it's my other obsession. Like I literally have this fixation on roasted broccoli right now. I was telling Kate, like, I can't stop eating it. It's, I don't know what it is. It, it, it's like, it's kind of weird to the point where I'm like, am I deficient in something? Like, I think broccoli has some iron in it. So am I deficient in iron? I don't know. We've been eating a little bit less red meat lately. So it could be that, but I don't know. Um, and then Kate gave me this sweet bag of lavender. And it smells so yummy. I love it. Mm. Okay. I'm going to put my stuff away and then I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Just made some salt baked potatoes so they have time to be refrigerated before I heat them back up for dinner so they're nice and like creamy and delicious. Um, and I'm gonna make them with the chicken thighs. Hi guys, I just got home. It's rainy. Kate and I just went on a journey to Armitage and went to Parachute. She got a um, pillow and I got bath sheets because our bath towels were crust and I needed to replenish. It's time, and I've heard these ones are like really plush and yummy. They are ranked number one, and Parachute does a really great like quality thing where if you don't like it, then you can return it, which I think is, I just, the guy made a good point. He was like, the thing is, is like with stuff like this, like. You can't, like, how are you supposed to know right away if you like it? And I was like, yeah, you're right, man. You're right, sir, man. Like, you're you're not, and you have to try it. And, yeah, I'm just really excited because I am going to go down to the gym and do a little workout, and then, well, right now I'm going to put these in the wash go down to the gym, do a little workout, come back up and take the shower. And then I'm just gonna sit and read and I can't wait. Post shower, making dins. Raining. Post teaching a natural little electrolyte drink, just ice water with lemon and Celtic salt. Hi guys, um, I haven't vlogged in a couple days, or not a couple days. I just had, haven't vlogged today, and I didn't vlog yesterday, but. I wanted to come on and just like be really transparent. I've been having a hard time with some stuff and I'm not going to really say anything other than that it's friendship related. Um, and it's no one that you guys would know. I'll say that. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to say like friendship shit is really difficult and like I've never really dealt with anything of this caliber before and I am really struggling. So it's okay. Um, like this stuff happens, but I just wanted to be transparent with you guys, but also like respect everyone's privacy. And you guys know the 
five. But anyways, I just kind of have taken some time off of vlogging and I kind of wish I would have vlogged more, but I just feel like I'm like kind of just like in a funk, but that's okay. I actually taught today and I'm so grateful to have taught. It was great. Also side note, this is a garlic crusher by the brand Joseph and Joseph. And it's like the best garlic crusher ever. I just got it because when I was walking Sarah J's cooking bed, probably the last time I walked on this like, she used it and I had a garlic press that sucked. Like it would like, garlic would just get stuck in it and it just was not it. Um, but this one is fabulous. I am making just some farmer's market veg for dinner tonight, honestly. I just feel like that's really all I want. So I'm roasting up a bunch of veggies. I'm roasting some broccoli and sweet potato. And then I'm gonna make um, some sauteed mushrooms. That's why I was getting some garlic ready because I want to make like super garlicky mushrooms but anyways since I'm just making veg I am like already done like everything just needs to cook so I'm gonna watch some vlogs for a little bit um but yeah today was good class kind of drained me honestly because I feel like I just gave my all you know which I love um but now I'm just like tired and I also just kind of had a weird sleep last night just due to everything that's been going on. So yeah, I think we're gonna get out of town and go to Naperville for tomorrow and have spend some time with Blake's family. I'm just like, honestly, everything going down is like making me just like so grateful for my girls in Chicago and like, just like, and also just like not in Chicago, like just my girls because like, Honestly, if you're watching this, you know who you are. And I'm just really grateful. So that's the vibe. Other than that, I'm already packed, which is fabu. I didn't really vlog it because I didn't really pack anything exciting. I already got my skincare ready. I'm just bringing literally like, we're only going for like 24 hours. So I'm just bringing like a pair of black linen pants, a pair of white linen pants, because that's what I live in right now. And a couple tanks, a couple sweaters. And that's a vibe. So, yeah, there's like a festival in Naperville this weekend that we're gonna go to on Friday. So it's called Naper Nights because Naperville is just one of those places that has Naper in everything. So it's at Naper Settlement and it's called Naper Nights. <laughs> but I think it'll be fun. I think I'm gonna edit this vlog though tomorrow so that I can get it up before we go to Naperville, hopefully. Um, and then, yeah, that's the vibe. Okay. Ciao. Little nighttime snack. Um, bread curd and granola, aka the best granola. Fresh cherries, half and half. Honey and peewee. Hi guys, we just left for Naperville and I'm gonna start a new vlog for the weekend. So, finishing off this one. Love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys watch but don't subscribe. Actually, I can't say that. I know some of you subscribe, but I also know I have a lot of viewers that don't subscribe because I can see it. So if you don't subscribe, subscribe. Um, honestly, like it was kind of a game changer for me when I subscribed to the YouTube channels that I actually like because I didn't do it for so long. And then now it's just like so much easier to watch all my videos, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in Naperville. Bye.